Welcome to lesson two in sarcasm. Before I start, I'd just like to uh, let you know about a, an email I received from one of our viewers in London, England, Mr. Paul Braisted, who sent me this email. Aidan, it was really great to see your first lesson, which gave us a good foundation in sarcasm. However, I was a little bit disconcerted by the unusual camera shot that you'd adopted. Would it be possible in future to just use a standard head and shoulder shot? Paul, that's been noted and from now on, as you can see, I've taken action on that point and will be using this current camera shot. Now in lesson one, we looked at what is not sarcasm. In this lesson, we're moving from the preschool from kindergarten up into primary school. So you'll need to sharpen your pencil. Let's look at a reply to the question or the request. Would you mind emptying the rubbish bin and washing the bin out with an anti-germicidal solution, please? Sure. 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 However, C is a little bit exaggerated in a physical way, and sometimes it does pay to add and be inventive by adding some words, but using just a normal voice. For example, sure, ever since I was a boy writing to Father Christmas, I've always had this on the top of my wish list.